Meeting call to order today is Tuesday, May 2nd. Uh, Town Council Public Hearing, <coughs> West Warwick Civic Center. Councilman Lichardi? Here. Councilman Messier? Here. Councilman Padula? Here. Council Vice President D'Amico? Here. Council President Goslin? Here. There's a quorum. Public hearing on proposed fiscal year 18 West Warwick Civic Center. Move the resolution. Oh, Actually, no resolution. Oh, no. Do How you doing, Dave? Wonderful. I guess John gave everybody a copy of this. Uh, Pretty basic. Yep. I mean, there's one page, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, any questions? <laughs> and I got Lori here um, to explain <coughs> to you what the, what the revenue is going to be. I'll give you highlights of that too. So, but I mean, this is going to be basically a self-funding. Correct, yeah, so this is the second year that we've done this process since we've taken this back over. Similar to the uh, wastewater budget, um, we're doing, gonna do two public hearings like we've uh, done with them. Um, it's, it's a pretty straightforward budget um, based upon what we've seen the last year, which is really the first full year we had of operation. Um, and given the fact that we have additional revenues now coming in from the marketing side and this summer we'll have a full operation of the ice rink for the first time. So um, based on all that, we, um, we anticipate um, basically a, a surplus that will go back into startup um, cost repayment because the first two years we put a lot in with respect to uh, capital improvements that weren't previously budgeted, but because it's an enterprise fund, we let that go into uh, negative, knowing that we were going to be paying it back, and this is the actually the second year because last year we put in about forty-five thousand towards that because we have been showing uh, profits there. So we'll continue to do that until that's all paid back, and then continue also to uh, let that fund grow to where we can invest more into the facility as needed. And then at some point, if it gets too high, you can decide what you want to do with it. But that's uh, for this. Point right now, um, that's the plan. I think it was a total of 140 in terms of the total um, debt for the first yes. for, the, for the startup. Because as you know, we invested and in, we we did all the plumbing, all the electric. We uh, but this is showing a grids. wash, right? So so for the it's year, it's a wash, and, and it's, you, 35,000 of that goes back into the repayment of past uh, the past startup year um, debt repayment. Yep. So um, yeah, but this is a wash. We think it's conservative. We think we're going to do better than that, and that's the goal. And um, based upon projections of where we're going right now, it, sh it should do better than that. Well, the way we all felt was we're going to give this a couple of years yep. to see how it goes without taking a loss. If we Correct. take a loss, we're going to act. So my opinion is it's a wash right now. Yep. I'd give it time. I mean, if, if we can't make any money on it, there's no need no. for us to. We're making money on it. Like I said, we're investing a lot in the in the in the, uh, stru in the uh, infrastructure there. So it's um, and we're still making money. So. It's a, it's a big asset to the community up there. Um, obviously, Jay just used it a couple weeks ago for the egg hunt. Uh, a lot of residents, especially in the winter, soccer, basketball, a lot of local leagues use it. Um, the non-usable months is usually summer because everybody's outside. But I think Lori has a lot of things planned for the summer um, between uh, different things that she has going on, which I think she's going to share with us later. Um, I, I don't have an issue with it. It's pretty basic budget. <coughs> Nothing hot about it. Um, I just, the only, there's two things I want to make sure. Is everybody, everybody who's renting or leasing anything up there all paid up or? One, yeah, well, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. I heard someone owes 16000 another guy owes thirty. Is that true? I meant to ask you that. We had, we had one um, uh, renter that was behind, but she's since caught up, correct? She, well, she's made, she's made payments and she's. And, and, and she's catching up, so we're working with that one. Now, the, how about the, the other person the was person the, upstairs? Right. So we, I heard we, that was way in the hole. We met with them. He was he was um, behind by fifteen thousand. I'm sorry, fifteen hundred. Yeah, oh. yeah. It, it was fifteen hundred dollars. Somebody owed twenty four and no. sixteen thousand, no. and we're not collecting. No, 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 no there's nothing like that. We've been we've been very aggressive on the collection, and we've gotten that all. He owed fifteen hundred. He had an issue. Um, he t he took his business out. We asked him to leave um, last year, not because of lack of payment but because we want to put the bleachers back because Lori's found that you know we'd be able to lease the space a lot more readily if we had more bleachers mm -hmm. so um so we're going through that process so we asked him to leave by June of this year 
Um, and given that, he was having issues with his business because he couldn't start classes. So part of it was our responsibility because he knew he had to be out of there by date certain. He didn't have another location that worked for him. Um, and so, but we negotiated with him because um, he put in uh, the, the, the plexiglass dasher boards all around that, which oh, we have to have per code now if we put bleachers back there. And um, with the receipts from those, there, there were $4,000 worth of with their glass. He was willing to call it a wash on this $1,500, and we would keep that. So we agreed to that because it actually saves us a lot of money. Um, we don't have to put those up. So um, he's done. He's out. Um, and uh, so everybody is up to date with the exception of the, of the one that's on a payment plan, if you will, and she's, she's getting back. Yeah. But everyone else has been paying. I mean, we have actually really good record right now with, with all of our, you know, it took a little while to get going with everybody, but now they're used to us hounding them and, and they're paying on time now, which is how yeah, it should be. Yeah, we can't be. be chasing. No, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's what happened previous. People got yep, in trouble. They were paying. We yep. don't need to be in a hole because no. other people got to As soon as they yeah. fall behind, boom, be right on them. Yeah, I've, I've also talked to uh, Rossi, uh, Robert Rossi from the Rossi law offices that we have for tax collections. And if we need to, he's willing to, you know, step in, of course, for a fee to actually help us collect if we need to. But we have yeah, to but I don't want it to cost yeah. us money to collect no, that. No, money. exactly. You know, we yeah. should it's be... only a last resort for something that... I mean, that's not, if that's not like rental property, that's commercial. That's right. uh, you, you can evict them immediately. Absolutely. I was just going to say, if they're not paying and, and, and they've been in a constant problem, yeah, you, move on. We're we don't looking need for trouble. Not, we don't need to spend extra money no. to, to get the money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going to go fifteen hundred dollars. We're going to give the lawyer a thousand dollars to go do it. Just, right. For some yeah, of the leagues, all right. substantial. We're just going to have that. Right. Some of the leagues are huge. Yeah. Yeah. Just as long as everybody's on that, because yep, uh, they are. Absolutely. We got taken too many times. All right. You good? Laurie wants to hit some of the uh, highlights of stuff she's got coming in. So. Well, I'm, I'm sure you weren't going to give it to us. <laughs> oh. You, you, are you threatening a public official? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's two things I just want to talk about. Just on the collections, I just want you all to know oh, yeah. that I've formed very good relationships with each and every renter. I've made them feel like, you know, they're my friend and whatnot. So <laughs> I do have that very good relationship with them also. I don't think that we have anything to worry about in the aspect of them not paying because it is, you know, come the winter, they all do want to get in there. As of right now, from the second week of December, with the exception of Christmas and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and all that stuff, we are fully booked with, I literally booked this morning on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 9. So I only have Fridays from, I believe it's 5.30 to 7 at this point. And other than that, we are completely booked till April 22nd. So there's someone in there every day. I don't start renting while the kids are in school till after five, just to avoid the whole situation with them. But I mean, someone's in there every single day. So that's a good thing. <coughs> so my goal was originally to do one big community event every month so that you know the community also gets to use the facility. So with the summer program going on, I, I kind of got a little sidetracked of trying to find things for the kids to do every day. And now that that's pretty much a go and all set to go, I was able to um, come up with some fun ideas just for the community to be able to enjoy the Civic Center, you know, possibly make a little bit of profit here and there, but some of them are just, just for the people to come and enjoy. So in June, I have a car show. I'm in conjunction with Ken County, the I-95, the Classic Rock, so they're going to be there. They're going to be broadcasting. I'm going to get in touch with Eric Wiener for the food trucks, so he's going to be coming up there. Should be a really fun time. So I have that for our June event. My July event, I have, um, I grew up here. We did the I Love America Days every year. It's really, really fun. Fireworks, whole nine yards. So we're doing that July 7th, 8th, and 9th. So that's already in place. For my August event, I have a community flea market. You are able to rent a space, a 10 by 10 space, whether it's inside or outside, you pick. If you want to be inside, you're inside. If you pick outside, you're outside. If it rains all weekend, it rains all weekend. For $50, and the whole community can either come, get a table, sell whatever you want to sell, as long as it's legal. And <laughs> Thank you for specifying that. Can I run the beer stand? Sure. <laughs> but this one you'll love. So no this one, I, this was one of my big ones that I really, really wanted to do, just because there's so many smaller restaurants within the town that people don't even know about, you know, whether it's West Warwick, Warwick, Coventry, just surrounding areas. 
So I want to do, this is in September, we're going to do a taste of Kent County. So I'm still working out the details, but I know I'm in place for it. I know how it's going to work out. I have the day blocked off. And then October, Jason and I had discussed at one point doing something for Halloween. So I had blocked off the Saturday before Halloween. And, you know, that's more his event, but it's still going to be a big community event. And then, you know, November, December, there's bazaars and all sorts of good things going on there. Good. So for the most part, you know, everything is running smoothly. <clears throat> the kids are happy up there. You know, everybody seems to be really happy, so. And, and I have the luxury of seeing Laurie a couple of times a week because of softball or whatever, and we have these conversations. And one thing I want to make clear is, you know, I, I can't advertise some of this stuff until I know it's solidified. So when people say, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? Well, we're working on things. I just want to make that clear that, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff in the hopper going on. We're just not going to share it until we solidify it. Laurie shared those flyers with me, um, a text message, because her and I were going back and forth about August and what yeah. we could do. And, and I said, how, you know, her and I were going back and forth, and we came up with ideas of flea market, do whatever, and see what happens. You know, maybe the whole community can come together. Right. Um, if you charge a dollar at the door or whatever, there's revenue coming into that building. Because if anybody, I, I, I'm a proponent of that building, I think um, I, I want to see it thrive up there. I don't want to see it privately owned anymore. We, we tried it. It didn't work. We put all our money, I mean, we, for the council that wasn't here, when we privatized it, we didn't want to do the, the building repairs and all that. We ended up getting the building back and having to do all the repairs. So with that being said, yeah, but we, we got, now own we got, it. We, we got, got quite made, a bit of money. No, we did. We got plenty of money. We, got a we, lot didn't, of, we didn't. Uh, we put a lot in, too. We got to remember, we got a lot over the five years or six years <clears> that we privatized it, but we put almost $300,000 back into it when we got it back over. So it was a wash. Um, and again, I, I want to make it successful up there, and I think Laurie's doing a great job in, in group that's up there. Yeah. Um, so good. kudos to you, Laurie, with Thank the you. ideas you're coming up with. These are very good ideas. Thank you. Mm. Uh, a lot of variety. I'm going to leave the flyers with you only because I'm not staying. And uh, there is a typo on one of them. The car show is not $3. It's free. Yes, yes. The car show is going to be free. Thank you, Laurie. It's going to be free or it's going to be free? Free. 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 F-R-E. Any questions? What the hell? Hearing none, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. One minute recess. Aye. What do we deserve this on? <laughs> Laurie, as long as you don't let Lombardi bring his car in there. I, my, I don't, mine has just never been off. I just, fellas. Hi, honey. Who's that girl? <laughs>